Have you been thinking of getting into web development or app development? Are you trying to figure out where to start and can decide which way to go? If so, you should keep watching. This video is for you. Hi there. If you are new here, let me introduce myself. My name is Akram and I'm a web developer based in Hamburg, Germany. In today's video, we will compare web and app development based on five factors. This will help you decide which career path is best for you. So let's dig in. Web development and app development are similar in many ways. Both require good design skills to create visually appearing and user-friendly products. Both also involve working with clients, testing and debugging to ensure that the final product is functional and free of errors. However, there are plenty of differences that make web development and app development entirely separate careers. After finishing my computer science studies, there were two career paths that I was considering, web development and mobile app development. I decided to go with web development and now I am full stack web developer with more than 10 years of experience. So today I like to go into more details about the differences between web development and app development and how I made the decision. I will compare the two fields based on five elements, skills, learning curve, job market demand, job satisfaction, and salary. Let's start with the skills. In terms of soft skills, web development and app development are similar. For instance, Creativity is key to developing applications and websites that stand out in crowded market. Good communication is also essential for developers to work effectively with clients. Other skills such as problem solving, attention to detail and time management are all important for the successful career. On the other hand, hard skills make all the difference between the two paths. When creating mobile applications, different tools are required depending on the platform that you are targeting. For example, for Android, you need to learn JavaScript or Kotlin. And for iOS, learning Swift is your best bet. Now, if you want something that works with both of these platforms, you can learn to use tools like React Native or Flutter. This can help you to develop cross-platform mobile apps that works on both iOS and Android. Web development, however, requires a different set of skills. It depends on whether you would like to become a front-end, back-end, or full-stack developer. The most common languages for back-end are PHP, Python, Java, and Ruby. While for front-end, those are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I have made a video that goes into more detail about front-end and back-end. Check it out if you are interested. Next up, we have learning curve. Web development is generally considered more accessible for beginners. You can start with the basics like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Besides, there are many different types of websites that you can build. So you can start with simpler projects and then gradually work your way up to more complex ones. And not to forget that making websites requires almost identical skills and technicalities for every hardware system. Unlike app development, where you need to acquire different skills for each platform. There are also other things that make mobile apps development more challenging. It has different design considerations than websites, such as screen size, touch gestures, and user interface patterns. Plus, mobile app developers need to be mindful of performance details such as battery life, app size, and memory usage. If you decide to go with app development, keep in mind that you need to be familiar with these design principles, which may add a low to your learning journey. Let's move on to our next point. Number three, job market demand. According to the United States Bureau of Labor Statistics, there will be 17,900 web development job opening every year until 2030. E-commerce and online businesses are popular in the market, which increased the demand for web developers. I had my online business once. A significant part of the process involved me developing and maintaining the website. If I didn't have those skills, I would have had to hire someone for it. Almost all businesses now need an online portal and to make their products easier to reach. This means, that even at beginner level, securing a job as a web developer can be easy. The job outlook for mobile app development is even better. It is expected to grow at a rate of 22%. That's the equivalent of 189,000 jobs becoming available each year. It is no surprise given the rapid growth of technology and especially smartphones. Overall, I think that it's safe to say that now is a great time to start a career in either web development or mobile app development. The demand is growing in both fields and getting a job is relatively easy. Our fourth factor is job satisfaction. Payscale conducted on a survey and found that mobile apps developers are pretty happy with their jobs, giving it an average score of 4.1 out of 5, which is around 82% of satisfaction. A similar survey among web developers found an average job satisfaction score of 3.9 out of 5, or about 
78%. Many developers reported that creating apps and websites that so many people will use makes them feel that they are making a difference and that their work matters. One of the reasons that personally makes me love what I do is my flexible schedule. Working remotely and being in charge of my own schedule is one of the biggest perks of my job. Another main reason why both web and app developers have a high job satisfaction is that you can always make a decent salary, which brings us to our last point. Lastly, we have salary. The average annual salary for both developers in the United States range between 100 and 115,000 US dollars. Mobile apps developer earn a slightly higher wage with an average of over 120,000 per year. Aside from salaries, making money through app development is often easier because app stores offer developers a platform to sell their apps, also in app purchases or charge a subscription fee to access premium content. It is important to keep in mind that your earnings will be greatly impacted by your location and your company size and the level of expertise. So why did I choose web development over mobile development? Well, the answer is actually simple. I had done several web development projects in college, so continuing with it was simpler. It was easier for me to get my first part-time job as a web developer, as I already had some experience in the field. Web development was speaking at the time, while smartphone and app development was barely in a thing. It was the more rational decision to pursue a career in web development. App development was a brand new concept and the future was unclear. Would I have chosen a different path had I known what I know now? Maybe, but do I regret going into web development? Definitely not. I have come a long way and I have an exciting journey so far. New career paths and options might become available. We'll see what the future holds. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope that this video helped you better explore your options and decide which career path is the right for you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content in the future. I see you in the next one. Bye.